Good morning, and thank you for joining me for morning prayer today, Friday, February 25th. Today we do morning prayer from the Book of Alternative Services, and we remember George Herbert, who was a priest and poet who actually died on February 27th in the year 600, no, in the year 1633, 1633. So today we remember, we commemorate George Herbert, priest and poet. Let us take a few moments as we prepare our hearts and minds as we enter into morning worship. There we go. Wonderful, let's get this lit. All right. Our opening sentence for this morning is taken from the 14th chapter of the Gospel according to John, and it is the sixth verse, and it reads, I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father but by me. Dear friends in Christ, as we prepare to worship Almighty God, let us with penitent and obedient hearts confess our sins that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, pardon and deliver us from all of our sins, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and keep us in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. O come, let us worship. Let us pray the Venite. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us hardly rejoice in the rock of our salvation. Let us come into God's presence with thanksgiving and be glad in God with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In God's hands are the depths of the earth and the heights of the mountains are God's also. The sea is God's for God made it and God's hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us worship and bow down and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For the Lord is our God, we are the people of God's pasture and the sheep of God's hand. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our first reading for this morning is from the 32nd chapter of the book of the prophet Sirach, and it's uh, verses 1 to 13. So Sirach 32, verses 1 to 13. If they make you master of the feast, do not exalt yourself. Be among them as one of their number. Take care of them first, and then sit down. When you have fulfilled all your duties, take your place so that you may be merry along with them and receive a wreath for your excellent leadership. Speak, you who are older, for it is your right, but with accurate knowledge, and do not interrupt the music. Where there is entertainment, do not pour out talk. Do not display your cleverness at the wrong time. A ruby seal in a setting of gold is a concert of music at a banquet of wine. A seal of emerald in a rich setting of gold is the melody of music with good wine. Speak, you who are young, if you are obliged to, but no more than twice and only if asked. Be brief, say much in few words. Be as one who knows and can still hold their tongue. 
among the great do not act as their equal, and when another is speaking, do not babble. Lightning travels ahead of the thunder, and approval goes before one who is modest. Leave in good time, and do not be the last. Go home quickly, and do not linger. Amuse yourself there, to your heart's content, but do not sin through proud speech. But above all, bless your Maker, who fills you with God's good gifts. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. It's a beautiful reading from Sirach. Our psalm today is the first seven verses of the 42nd Psalm. As a deer longs for flowing streams, so my soul longs for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and behold the face of God? My tears have been my food day and night, while people say to me continually, Where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I went with the throng and led them in procession to the house of God, with glad shouts and songs of thanksgiving, a multitude keeping festival. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him and help and my God. My soul is cast down within me. Therefore I remember you from the land of Jordan and of Hermon, from Mount Mazar. Deep calls to deep at the thunder of your cataracts. All the waves in your billows have gone over me. Glory to the Creator, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our second reading is taken from the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. A second time Jesus said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon said to Jesus, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter felt hurt because he said to him the third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So today we honor George Herbert, an English priest of the early 17th century and a poet who taught his verse to rise harmoniously on the wings of prayer. Born in the year 1593, he became a young man of brilliant promise, high-minded and proud, especially in his religion. He was convinced that God had chosen him for a great purpose, to instruct kings and princes in godly rule. But in a hard inner struggle, in prayers full of lament and anger, Herbert learned to question his ambitions. He came to realize, perhaps great places in God's praise do not so well agree. At the age of 33, he was ordained a deacon. Four years later, he accepted the rural parish of Bemerton, where he was made a priest and found peace in the service of God and his flock but his ministry was cut off all too soon, for he died of tuberculosis in early 1633, just short of his 40th birthday. Herbert left a collection of poems, which was later published as The Temple. These poems have nourished the spiritual life of untold generations. Several have been set to music, and two have become very popular as hymns. One of them is called, Let All the World in Every Corner Sing, and the second, Come, My Way, My Truth, My Life. Herbert especially loved to sing about the Eucharist, which he saw as a banquet, 
where the masterful courtesy of Christ bids us to sit down and taste his meat, to acquire with Herbert himself such a heart whose pulse may be God's praise. So today we remember George Herbert, English priest and poet. Let us now together confess the faith of our baptism in the words of the Apostles' Creed as we say, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. I invite you to assume whatever posture you find most prayerful as we enter into the prayers of the people. Let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord for a day of fulfillment and peace. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord to teach us to love others the way God loves us. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord for peace and justice within our world. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord to strengthen and relieve those who are in need. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord to renew the church through the power of God's life-giving spirit. Lord, have mercy. I invite you to take a few moments to release the prayers of your heart unto God. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have given us grace with this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together, you will hear their requests. Fulfill now our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come eternal life. For you, Creator, are good and loving, and we glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, in the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray the Collect of the Day. Heavenly Father, by the working of your love, you made your servant, George Herbert, to sing of your mercies and to stand as priest and pastor at the table of the Paschal Lamb. Grant us to hear your call and lay hold of the gifts you have given us, that we also may come to share in the fellowship of your heavenly banquet. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior taught us, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May the God of peace enable us to do God's will in every kind of goodness working in us what pleases God, through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever and ever, and the blessing of God Almighty, Creator, Son, and Holy Spirit, rest upon you this day and forevermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining me for morning prayer this morning. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And this Sunday, we do have a special treat at our service. The Reverend Dr. Scott Sharman will be with us at Holy Trinity this Sunday, the 27th, to share some reflections. So it'll be great to see you. If not, as always, stay safe, be well, and God bless you all.